Hi there, I'm Julie Alonzo, Program and Communications Manager here at Safe States. I'm excited to give you a quick tour of the Trauma Center Injury and Violence Prevention Program self-assessment tool and to tell you how it can be a useful tool in preparing for a site visit. In short, this free online resource is designed to assist hospital and trauma center-based IVP programs in assessing strengths and opportunities to grow their overall program and is based on a set of consensus-based national standards for hospital IVP programs, all developed by trauma program staff, surgeons, and leading IVP public health experts in 2017. The best place to start your journey is on the Trauma Center IVP Standards and Indicators page on the Safe States website. So right now I'm going to show you where that's at. So here on the home page, you would go to the tools uh, menu go to model standards and indicators and over to trauma center. <clears throat> Here you'll find the standards and indicators for model level one and two trauma center programs, printable worksheets, links to resources, and a link to the online self-assessment. So you just scroll down here to the bottom to find the assessment link. We understand that preparing for a site visit in your trauma center can be stressful, especially if you're new to the program or the field. The IVP self-assessment tool can help you identify strengths to highlight in your report and help you make the case for your program. It can also help you find opportunities for growth. By flagging these for a reviewer, you not only demonstrate your program knowledge, but you're now helping hand select items that can be highlighted by the reviewer. So let's take a look at how to navigate the tool. So you click take self-assessment. This is going to bring up um, the assessment tool page. You can learn a little bit more about the, the tool and instructions for using the assessment tool. As you go through the online tool, you're gonna rate your program's level of performance or activity for each indicator using the one, two, or three. These are organized by the five core components of a model IVP program. Remember this assessment should reflect your overall program's current status and is not about a single intervention. So let's click to begin. Once you're ready, you're gonna join, go ahead and click begin. And this will bring you to the first page, which is leadership standards and indicators. And this will lead you through a series of statements. As you work through the assessment, you're going to be able to save and return or click next to go to the next section. If you decide to save and return, a link will be generated so that you can pick up where you left off later. And that's it. Once you've completed the assessment, you will have the option to print or email your final report. Do note at this time, your report data is not saved anywhere in our system. So I would recommend saving a dated copy of your report to refer back to for ongoing monitoring. And finally, as a reminder, if you're looking for resources or tools to collect examples and document evidence of how your program is functioning for each of the indicators, there are a series of downloadable worksheets for each component. And that was here on the Trauma Center IVP page. So thank you for your time today and good luck.